My name is Garrett Johnson, I'm 29 years old. I have a beautiful wife, and we have two kids. When I was nine years old, I was with my friends. We were just our football buddies, and we were at a sleepover. That night was the first night that I saw pornography. And I didn't know then that that night would be the beginning of a challenge. As I grew and went into 13, 14, and 15, I would watch it a few times a week. It was always just something that I almost talked myself into that it wasn't that bad. I got married at age 24, so I set these goals of like, all right, no more, no more. I won't use pornography anymore. And then as time went on, I would go back to it. I just continued to say over and over, I remember thinking, all right, this is the last time. And then I'd go through periods, would be like, okay, I'm just gonna do it and just accept it because I couldn't get over it. And from there, the whole journey of me telling the truth was when I saw Fight the New Drug. I'm turning 30 this year and it's like this milestone of like, all right, I'm done with pornography, I wanna move forward. So I did 30 marathons in 30 days while wearing handcuffs. The handcuffs for me represented the addictive nature of pornography. The 30 and 30 ended, at that point it's like, I wanna do something to help other people. And so that's where I came up with Coast to Coast and Chains. And when I told my wife, immediately the first words out of her mouth were, you have to do it. Which was pretty, pretty inspiring. Pretty uncommon to have a wife that says, yeah, go be unemployed for 60 days and ride your bike by yourself across America. I started on April 7th. It took me 56 days. It was 3,800 miles. I crossed nine states. Lots of open road, you guys. This is Garrett Johnson on my journey coast to coast in chains. I wanted to really quickly show you the chains. The chains represent the heaviness of addiction and recovery. With those chains dragging behind me on my bike, you can't even coast. Even if you're going downhill, you're still coming to a stop because the chains were so heavy and dragging. Hey guys, I am near Kinsley, Kansas, riding in the middle of the night. And the main reason is because the winds during the day are ridiculous. And at nighttime, they're non-existent. So a lot more efficient for me to ride at night. Love you guys. But notice, those chains, they're wearing down. Little by little, those chains started falling off. And so that represented the journey of addiction and recovery. So I ended without any chains. So it's kind of a resemblance of what my journey has been, telling the truth and moving forward and releasing those chains. And I can't tell you how excited I was when they released. It took me stepping up and realizing what I wanted. 